All right, Shalom, Yashallah. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the elect and select, you know, Akiyam who's doing this truth in four corners of the round earth. And also a Shalom to the select number of Akwath who's out there listening. You know, uh, I'm, I'm uh, Kodar. This is Atazawam. And we're from the GMS uh, Dallas camp. And basically with this lesson, man, we just like to get into how the Lord's uh, word, man, is going to thrive. OK, it's, it, it hasn't it, it hasn't gone anywhere, you know, the, despite, you know, Satan and Esau trying to hide it, man. You know, the Lord's word is going to push and forever stand, man. And it's been established. You know, you have these church houses that that uh, that really try to speak for uh, the most high, man. But the, the scriptures speak for Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, okay? And the prophets, okay? You got you got the prophets who, who speak, and, and therefore, or what? Prophets are here to prophesy, to tell before something happens. So the Lord has already es established these things, man. And his His word hasn't changed, man. You know, the, the, the people, the, and the real talk, the people haven't changed. These, these spirits have been within the earth for thousands of years, man. These old spirits... Are back on earth. These are the same ones going against Yahweh by Shem Okay. What's uh, this is uh, Malachi chapter three? At uh, where, where you want to start at, brother? Let's start with verse four. four? Okay, okay. Good. Verse four. Then shall the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto Yahweh as in the days of old and as in former years. Man, right there is just telling you. The offerings of Judah and the offerings in Jerusalem, the Lord is going to continue to deal with uh, Israel all the way up until this very day. Yeah. Continue. That's right. Con. This is verse five. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against the false swears, and against those that oppress the hireling. In his wages, man, that's going into so many different <laughs> things, man. From what you so-called white people, who who are the Edomites according to the Bible. That's right. Uh, this is the stuff that you have done throughout your throughout your time period, which the Lord has actually blessed you with. That's right. To punish us. That's right, brother. You know the fatness of the land and the gift of the sword. You know. And you're also that that serpent in, in the book of Genesis that it talks about too. You know, you, you worked your witchcraft on us, and you're still doing it to this very day. That's right. You know, you false swear as the Christianity, your your man-made religions, all yeah. that stuff. That's right, brother. Hundred percent correct. And and you and how you've oppressed us throughout this whole time yeah. period and everything. That's right. The widow, the fatherless, like look. We can bring up some of the most simple things that you've yeah. done amongst our communities. You you've taken the men out of the house. Yeah. You know that that that's that stuff for women to go on Section Eight and all yeah. that other stuff. Yeah. You've given them the right to uh, be independent, so to yeah. speak. That's right. You know those are simple. That's simple logic right there to, that we could bring up. That's right. That's uh, just like uh, me before me and the brother started the lesson. That. Uh, where I'm at. Verse 5. Okay. And against those that oppress the hireling in his wages. Could you uh, pull it up, Baba Kasha? I believe, which is the third verse of uh, the Star Spangled Banner, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see. It. And, okay, here we are. And where is that band who so vauntingly swore that the havoc of war and battles confusion a home and the country should leave us no more their blood has washed out their full that out their foul footsteps pollution no refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave and the star-spangled banner in triumph do with wave oh the lord oh it's like oh the land of the free and the home of the brave now that scripture i was just reading is what <laughs> Look, and against those that oppressed the hireling in his wages, man, and our people were uh, oh, oppressed, man, and, uh, with with the cruelest, most devastating slavery slash captivity, man, 
that's that's ever been known to the world. Now, granted, everybody, you know, everybody had certain captivity. Not like not like the twelve tribes, not like mm -hmm. the twelve tribes. Okay, and it and it just and that song uh, just proved that that verse just proved that uh, how proud Esau is, man, and who it shows you who the oppressor is. And this scripture right here. Verse five is is talking about the judgment of going towards Esau for oppressing his people, man. That's okay. Right. Did you have anything on there, bro? Read up to verse six. Verse six. Okay. Let me. Uh. Matter of fact, I'm gonna reread verse five and then I'm gonna jump okay. down. Okay. okay. This is verse five once again, and I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swears. And against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, that's talking about Yashala, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. Verse 6, for I am Yahweh, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the main thing here that we're going to break down to you is that the Lord has not changed his mind yeah. and he has not broken his covenant with Israel. Yeah. So we're going to go to the next uh, book over here, uh, Hebrews chapter 8, starting at verse 7. That's right. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Uh. For finding fault with them, once again, this subject is about Israel. That's right. Who did the Lord give the law to? That's right. If you're gonna, if we're gonna keep bringing this up, because you know, if you're gonna keep, if people like uh, Jesus is the Word, is gonna sit here and say, you guys never read this book. Guess yeah. what? You you obviously have never read it because yeah. the Lord is telling you throughout the entire book that He's still dealing with Israel. Yeah. And no other nation. Yep. Yeah. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel uh, and with the house of Judah. Uh -huh. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. That's right. Now, <laughs> once again, the story is simple. The Israelites were enslaved in Egypt. Uh -huh. Moses came. And uh, showed the power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. That's right. And showed the power of Yahweh. That's right. Actually, and he led Israel out of Egypt. That's right. Because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. That's right. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel mm -hmm. after those days, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. That's right. So that's clear as day, man. And that's when the uh, kingdom will be here on earth. That's and, right. Not that uh, BS that y'all been painting like me and the brothers talking about in another lesson. It just brothers, you know, when we frequently talk, man, it's like, man, all the BS we learned as children. That's right. You know, from from our mothers, uh, the, the BS pastors. Okay, from grandmothers, from your cousins who were uh, wacky Christians before we knew that. Because we, we always knew the Lord and the Holy Scriptures was nothing to play with. But little did we know, like in the church house, you know, you knew something was up as we became older. You know, when, That's we, right. when we became young men and get brothers, you know, graduating high school, getting into college. And then just seeing how the world works and then all the BS that went in the church house. You'd be like, man, for y'all to be these... Uh, so uh, high, uh, exalted Christians, bro, y'all niggas tripping in here. Kind. And that's the realization we came to. So through this, through the Spirit, the Lord, the Lord put His Spirit on us. It was time for us to be uh, awakened out of sleep, man. That's right. And we're going into some basic scriptures on this, man. That's uh, right. And it's funny, it's simple, right? <laughs> Showing your uh, coupon for some milk. Yeah. That's what we're giving y'all right now: <laughs> some some milk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh man! This is Deuteronomy chapter seven, uh, verse, verse nine. Verse nine. This is okay. I'll start it. Verse nine. Know therefore that Yahweh thy power, he is our power, the faithful power which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. And once again, what is a covenant? 
a covenant is a promise, a That's contract. Right. That's right. Uh, uh, for for you simple minded uh, Christians out there in this religion of Christianity, look that up of, of what a covenant is. Yeah. How about you take the time not to look that up? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know, this is not a hard thing to figure out uh, of what that is. Now, we could tell you in, in these uh, in this book that a uh, certain uh, group of people were given uh, blessings. Yep. Ishmael was given a blessing yep. Yep. that he would have 12 sons and be a powerful nation at one point in time. That's right. We just mentioned Esau was given a blessing. Yeah. But yeah. a covenant is the ultimate blessing that was given to Israel that we would rule That's right, over brother. all the nations. That's right. But see, with your wicked minds, you're thinking you're uh, you're thinking of the ways you've done things, which is going to eventually happen because it's yep. going to come back on you tenfold. That's right. That's right. That's right. And it's just it's just spiritual. I keep looking at the uh, like the <laughs> the uh, slacket, the sidebar, and you got these dresses. You know what I'm saying? America is what the rep because America's a representation of a whore. That's right. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? And you got these women to the side, these models. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, Esau has to pay, man. America, Mystery Babylon, has to pay, man. So the Lord's word, because if you read down, I'm going to read down, matter of fact. So like it. Verse 10. And repayeth them that hate him to their face to destroy them he will not be slack <laughs> to him that hateth him he will repay him to his face mm. so the lord's going to repay esau man okay the lord's going to repay cain okay that mark set upon okay that uh that you know the leprous you know eat, you know these damn edomites man adumia man Sh shatan okay right. the lord's going to repay back the great harlot man Okay, and it's beautiful, man. So there's no telling what the next scripture is going to. What you know, what I'm saying, just to the right, man. As you can see, them dresses is up there, man. You know, representation of you know, of these hard. You know, even though they have on dresses, you know, but it, it has nothing to do with Yashiala, man. They, they they're going to be destroyed, man. Esau is going to be destroyed, man. America's going to be destroyed. That's right. And let's see, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 55, starting in verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. Once again, we've already proven that the Lord is talking about Israel. That's right. You know, this is what we're reading about. That's what the subject is, That's Israel. Right. That's right. Not, not a... Uh, it could because the Lord said our people would overpass the deeds of the yeah, wicked. That's right. So, you know what I'm saying? So when it's talking about let the wicked forsake his way, it's talking about the Israelites. That's right. You know, that we'll, we, he will have mercy upon us. That's right, brother. And and let, here, it, make, it, it gets straight to the point. I'm going to read it again. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts mm -hmm. and let him return unto the Lord. Uh, the Lord had nothing to do with these other nations to begin yep. with. So how can you return to something that was never given to you? That's right. And he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. That's right, brother. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. So, do you know, for, for you guys who like to give your own private interpretation, that you know this is, this is what you do all the time. That's right. You know, you're still trying to tell us who the Gentiles are when, we, when we've when we made it clear that the Gentiles are talking about the, uh, it, well, it, it talks about two different types of Gentiles in the New Testament. You know, John 7 and 35 is a good uh, one to go with. That's right, brother. You know? Is, is that it? Kind of. And, uh, Actually, it should have been what read further. What verse okay. eleven? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's, yeah, that's, so I'll, we're gonna go up to, to uh, verse eleven. We get straight to the point. It says here in uh, Isaiah chapter fifty-five, verse eleven: "So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth; mm -hmm. it shall not return to me void." That's right. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Mm. Man, how much more? Yeah. Forward to the point. Yeah. 
has the Lord been in this word? Yeah. And, and and unfortunately to y'all eyes, he sent it to the men of the Lord. Okay? Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. So those rough looking, quote unquote, Negroes and Latinos and Native American men that you see out there on the highways and byways are the all the uh, bones that's being waking up that have woken up, man. The, I mean, Salakia, the, the dry bones, man. That's right. Brothers who's bringing this thing out, man, are, are no longer those dry bones, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yashai, the Lord has, is waking up the elect, man. Lord willing, with those men. And we're and we pushing forth, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yashai, man. So that's what that's talking about. The Lord's word is not concerning slack. It wouldn't be concerning slack, man. That's right. You know, if it be the Lord's will, brothers are going to keep going out on highways and byways, doing lessons, doing live shows. And it is what it is. And we're going to keep condemning and confounding y'all, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Because we only out here for the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yashai, man, and also for our big brother, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that he comes back, reclaim, you know, reclaims his, his throne, man. That's right. You know? This is, uh, this is Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, mm -hmm. and that I am the Lord your power, and none else. Mm. And my people shall never be ashamed. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass afterward, afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, mm. and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Mm -hmm. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Mm -hmm. Now that's clear as day that the Lord is going to only wake yep. up Israel. That's right. That's right. And because we were the ones who got cursed. That's right. What was taken away from uh, Esau? <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Tell me what was Esau yeah. cursed with? It, well, except besides the leprosy, leprosy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, besides of course what I'm yeah. talking about as far as him giving the covenant, the law, anything. Yeah, because yeah, he could care less. He could care less about uh, about the Lashawan Kodash. Because don't forget, he's Hebrew too. Kind. But he's a Hebrew Edomite. That's right. Just like you got the, the yeah. man. Just like you got the Hebrew Ammonites, Moabites. Yeah. yeah. You know the Ammonites are the so-called Japanese. Yeah. Moabites are the so-called Chinese. That's right, brother. The Hebrew, they're Hebrew. Yeah. You know, so they, you know, the they they could care less about about the uh, about their language, but they're 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 in their zone, man. They're uh they out here killing and pillaging villages. Uh, they're uh, hell, they're they're, they're doing everything under the sun that ain't right, according to Yahweh Bashem Yashah. And they're doing exactly what the Lord yeah. created them for, to be honest. Yeah. That they're what and you, doing usury, that's against the holy scriptures. You know, the, you, yeah. you're poisoning people. Yeah, I don't know how many times we could bring up how much uh, Esau pollutes the earth. Yeah. Uh, Monsanto, Monsanto, <laughs> the the the, uh, the oil. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying that you're drilling into the ground yeah. doing the fracking. Yeah, all that type of nonsense. Uh, the bloodshed. Yeah, you know that's pollution. Yeah, whether you believe it or not. Yeah, and the Lord and the Lord said all these things, and they have they have not they have not gone void. They, the, these words and these prophecies have not come back void until Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. To Yahweh, man. You know your your, your pharmacies, yeah. your uh, with the pills and stuff, because that that uh, the word pharmacy goes back to a Greek word pharmake, which means mm. witchcraft. Mm. Yep, and this and. What the so, uh, what we just read uh, when we first started off in Malachi, the, the, uh, chapter three, verse five, sorcerers. Uh, oh man! Yeah, you know it. Yeah. Just, once again, is talking about those yeah. sorcerers, <laughs> adulterers, uh, the false swearers, yeah. and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages and the widow and the followers. That's us and y'all the you know y'all two-thirds of our people are gonna be destroyed for following esau's lead and esau is gonna be destroyed for being the damn devil that he is man okay uh, this uh this next verse we're gonna bring out luke chapter 1 verse 68 mm -hmm. blessed be the lord yahweh of israel for he hath visited and redeemed his people mm. once again uh, some about his people yeah. this the subject is Israel, 
and his is it, it is clear as day. He's talking about a single yeah. group of people. That's right. You know, some of you do need to go back to school and learn if you want to read this in English. Yeah. Learn your English all over again. Yeah. It's like it's it's very it's very direct, man. There is simplicity in Yahweh Bashim Yahsha and Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay. So it says the scriptures, man. So it's it's simplicity, but your pride, your pride, and also just the Most High just making your ears heavy too, man. Yeah. And stiff neck, man, because it's it's not meant for you to get, but through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahsha, we get it, man. And we we seeing things manifest for what they are, like man. But y'all don't. Y'all still y'all still can't get over John three and sixteen. Mm. That's been bro broken down for so many years, man. Um, bro, it's been broken down before brothers who's bringing this word out before we were even born, bro. Starting with Abba Bivens, bro. That's right. So it's like, bro, this 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 has been this this, this has been out out in the uh, in the open, man. But now it's being really made manifest of who who the lost twelve tribes are, who the children of the Most High are, man. And it's it's evident through the Spirit, man. That's right. Them damn gutter rats over there ain't ain't uh putting up no fight about Yahab Bashem Yahshah. They just doing they they filthy thing anyway, man. So they everybody was set on set on earth for that, you know, and set in their own lot. So so Amalek, they doing what they do, man. That's right. You know? Verse sixty nine, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Uh huh. Where's anybody else involved in this? Yeah. David was an Israelite. That's right. Verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, mm -hmm. which have been since the world began. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, that would be too deep for y'all yeah. if, you, if you go on to that one. Yeah, and just if, we, if I could say this, before it was prophets, it was what? Say it with me, seers. That's right. Okay, like the brother said, it's like, bro, it's it is a lot of simplicity. Y'all, y'all just y'all so just basically you get you're getting distracted by truth. The Lord is a trip. Yeah, because <laughs> for instance, the Bible tells you he created a nation of people yeah. known as Adam. Yeah, he said he created man and woman and named them Adam. Yeah, that's a simple breakdown right there. Yeah, and you guys think it was one man and one woman. Yeah, turn it into a fairy tale. Yeah. You know, and as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. Uh -huh. So if if the Lord is just gonna, man, yeah. that, it, it's too much yeah. for y'all, man. And man, we gonna finish that. Okay, I'm gonna finish that real quick, man, because I'm trying not to get too deep. <laughs> and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, our fathers. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Yeah. It don't mention no other nation of people. Yeah. And who and who hate us, bro? Who's the most hated? The so-called Negro, man. The so-called Latino, so-called Native American. Now, granted, they, they try to paint this image of these so-called Jews being the most hated. Oh, I hate the Jews because, you know, bro. Bro, the Jews are winning. Okay? The Salaki, the, the fake Jews, them gutter rats. They own everything in Hollywood. They over there in the Holy Land. So how you know? And they're they're bro. They're uh they're they're hated because real talk, man. They have Amalek, okay, seed of Edom, man. Mm. Okay, that that that's that's why they hate them because it's still quote unquote Edomite supremacy, man. It's still Edomite supremacy. See, they they try to paint that image of, you know, I, I hate Jews, you know. So for one, they're not the real Jews. You got to de be derived from Judah to be a Jew. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? And their God is Satan, not yeah. Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. No, bro. Yeah, bro, they own the music business, Hollywood, every... A lot of them are uh, sports team owners, uh, co uh, commissioners of uh, all these leagues, you know? So it's like, bro... Y'all, man, please. Ain't nobody hated like the so-called black man, so-called Latino man, so-called Native American man, women and children on down, bro. That's talking about us. You know? That's right. Verse 72. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, uh -huh. the oath. Look, we're going, giving you 
break down what the covenant is, the oath which he swear to our father Abraham uh -huh. that he will grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear uh -huh. in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's, that's, Man, yeah, I don't know how much more clear that can be. Yeah. That, that, you can't stick with John 3.16 or you, or you, uh, Throughout your career of being a Christian. <laughs> That's right. Because, bro, dude, the 12 tribes is roaming around the earth, bro. And it just so happened, brothers and sisters are four corners of the round earth, man. Scattered. A lot of them scattered who look like Edomites, Moabites. So, so have it. But for the most part, brothers who are on the highways and byways and, you know, and on YouTube, man. Those are the, those are the chosen people, man. You know, and you you know you don't have to you don't you don't have to deal with it. The Most High is gonna make you deal with it. You know, that's that's point blank. And Yahweh Shah is gonna make sure that when he carry when he carries when he carries out those those prophecies, man. When those when when that wine press is going down, okay. Mm. Hey, closing out with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you brothers out there preaching this, preaching this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Shalom.